Welcome back to the Sacred Relic Sword Run in Elden Ring. My name is Ricky and this is Juliet. Last time, since Fire Giant was pissing me off, we went and we dealt with the Halic Tree stuff and today we are going to fight Fire Giant. And if that doesn't go super well, we have plenty of other options at our disposal to do as well, just like last time. But I'm actually going to fight Fire Giant in the episode. It's been a long time since I've actually played Elden Ring in any sort of significant uh, manner. And that's partially due to some other things that was were going on. But also, I started playing Tears of the Kingdom and then just didn't want to stop. Uh, which isn't a great excuse, admittedly. But is still an excuse. Okay, so also, just in case anyone is wondering, I got myself a nice new uh, processor. I haven't actually talked about it yet on the channel. Uh, and I'm not 100% certain I'm going to, if I'm being completely honest. How have we not broken his... whatever. Okay, but we've gotten to this point, but I haven't broken his ankle. And I was too far away, I misjudged the distance. There we go. That does no damage to him, doesn't it? Ow! Oh, come on, game! You can't, like, hide! Wow. There we go. So, also, and I forgot to mention this sooner. Um... I... Uh, did go and get all of my health up to, um, or don't lock on, that's cool. No, I, I really would like to lock on, thank you. Actually, we're going to not lock on. Um, I got my health up to 60, so it's, my vigor up to 60, so my health is at 11. Ow! Wait, hang on though. Oh, dead. Hmm. Okay, so the solution was to level my health from like 40 something. I don't remember when it was. It's been so long ago. To 60. To get to 1900 health. Because the thing is, there were a couple of times in there that I took some shots that I would have been dead if I had not have... If I had not... Hadn't have... Uh, uh, had more health. So again, 60 Vigor, so we're done with health, so we're going to be putting points into Dexterity and Faith going forward, maybe a little Endurance, because I do need some more stamina, apparently. I do think Golden Vow helped as well. Um, I keep forgetting about it. Like, in the last episode when I was editing it, I was like, why am I not Golden Vowing? Why am I not Golden Vowing before I go into this fight? This is ridiculous. I should be using Golden Vow. So, why, why am I not on my horse? Oh, right, because I haven't played this game in a bajillion years. Uh, so I will be pressing all the wrong buttons throughout this game. I think one of the last times I recorded this, this, uh, this series, uh, I also had that problem where I was like, I, I want to sprint. And I just did it. I pressed the A button instead of the B button. Let's set the Erd tree on regular fire. And then get transported to a place out of time and space. Here we are. Crumbling Ferrum Azula. You know, it occurs to me that these guys might be easier to kill with Wave of Gold. Let's find out. That, yeah, yep, yeah, there you go. Way easier to kill with Wave of Gold. You know. I guess these guys don't have crazy high holy resistance. Okay. What is going on? All right. Hang on. Ooh. So what did we learn from that? We learned that Wave of Gold is really useful and will kill them really quickly as long as they don't know I'm there. I'm not fighting this dragon. Okay. 
I can still hear the dragon jumping around. I'm gonna kill you real fast. I don't even know what that is. Smithing Stone 7. Hmm. Okay. Now this is an area, this next section, is an area that I usually just run through. But, just hit the thing. See what happens. Okay, so that did not go super duper well. Let's pick this up here. And I died. I hate these bullcrap enemies. I really do. You know, I, this is my third most played game in Steam, and I'm still sometimes having trouble. Uh, especially if I keep hitting the wrong button to jump. This is going to be a real problem going to this next section. No. No, 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 no. Now, I want to see just how good it is against these guys. Especially, they don't know it's coming. Eh, it's okay. Eh, it's okay. Uh, I should have sat down at the... Come on. Come on in so I can summon. See how well they are on holy resistances. Ow. You know what I really shouldn't be doing? Phase transitioning either one of them. And I certainly shouldn't be phase transitioning both of them. Well, that sucked. That whole thing was bad. Okay. So, change of plans. Come to Volcano Manor. I have unlocked the shortcut here to... Uh... The... Noble boss fight? I have... I genuinely don't remember, and I don't care. Um... So... We'll have some fun, I guess. This one should be much easier, although we will get less runes. So, the biggest issue with Wave of Gold, and I've mentioned this before, I think, is that, um, can't always see what I'm doing. Nope. No, I rolled through that. Thank you. I can't always see what the enemy's doing, either. I hate that move. That was the wrong thing. That was the wrong button. There we go. Okay. Did I even kill this thing in New Game? I can't remember. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did kill it in New Game. New Game was a rune level 1 playthrough, if this is the first time you're watching uh, one of my videos, one of these videos in the series. That's why it looks like I have, uh, why my stats are so weird, and obviously, uh, this is New Game Plus, uh, because, well, why would I, I couldn't possibly have this weapon, uh, and be where I was. There we go. Clear me a nice little path. Now, I can already hear some of you asking a question, and that question is, are you actually going to fight the serpent? And the answer is, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go fight him. Just going to launch this. No. We are not having that. One of them dropped their rapier. I don't even know if they're... I don't think they can. I don't think they have the rapier. Now that I said that out loud.
Hi, moron. Bye, moron. Crowd control is great. Wave of Gold is great for crowd control. It is not so great for, apparently, fighting one of the worst bosses from software has ever made in their entire lives. Because they just don't understand why people like Ornstein and Smell. I also don't understand why people like Ornstein and Smell, but... Volcanic Stone and Volcanic Stone. Fantastic. Still, in just that short bit of time, I almost have enough to level up again. So I know I, I don't talk too much about my level up situation here, but for the next couple of levels, I'm going to put Dexterity up to 40, and then I'm going to get Faith up to 40, and then I'm probably going to start working on Endurance and Mind. Although, we also might finish the game by then. Who knows? My Mimic Tier Ashes are only at plus 9, but this is going to require Mimic Tier. And also... To have a weapon I don't have on me. Hang on. I just spent all that time leveling up and now... Now I'm wondering... Oh no, Serpent Hunter's at plus nine. Okay. I am calling this the Sacred Relic Sword Run. Don't worry, I am not planning on... Uh... Using... This... Um... The spear... Against... Against... The serpent. I am gonna golden vow us, and then I'm just gonna let him take over. Why I use wave of gold at a distance. All right. Where is mimic here? There he is. What is this? I don't remember this move ever. Okay. New game plan. I'm unlocking. Whoa. I didn't do that much damage, just to be clear. Stop walking backwards. You are pissing me off. Stop walking backwards. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm at the wall. Um. That was weird, right? Like, he did the thing, and I thought I got it, and maybe I didn't. Maybe that was the thing. Maybe I didn't. Okay, let's see if Lord of Blasphemy has better, uh... I maybe might want to give Mimic Tear the ability to heal. Also, maybe me the ability to heal. Because I'm not going to survive the second half of this fight. Yeah, no, we're not surviving this fight without... Yeah, no, Mimic is about to die. We're not going to survive the fight. It's cool, stand back. Yeah, that's good. That's why I want you. Or not. Please don't do whatever you're doing. I don't know if I've ever seen that move. Admittedly, I don't fight this boss fight a lot. So, this time, I gave both myself and Mimic Tear the ability to heal. Let's Golden Vow. And then I'm going to put on Flame Fortification. Also, that's not the button I wanted to hit. Well, I Golden Vowed twice. That's fine. Well, this sucks. I didn't take a lot of damage, I think, because it, the grab counted as they, uh... Oh, he's doing this thing. He does... Oh, my good lord. I don't know what's going on, by the way. I'm just hitting it with... Uh, my sword. While Mimic Tear basically does everything. Oh, cool. Okay, so this time Mimic Tear is a lot more health. I really don't want to be locked on. What happened there? Why did I lose so much health suddenly? One of those stupid fireball bullcrap things? Ooh, I'm gonna grab my runes. My almost no runes. I'm not sure what the heck Mimitir is trying to do, but he can't do it inside 
Uh. Ah! Okay. Now we're at the Raincore part. Oh my good lord! Hi, video game? This is unpleasant! I don't think we're gonna do this. Okay, now I don't understand what just happened there. Because I quite lit. I must have gotten staggered by the flames that weren't actually showing up next to me. I think that's what happened. I think I was standing in the fire without actually being in the fire. Because there's this slight edge around it where it doesn't look like you're in it, but you might actually be in it. Oh, I hate that sword drag. Oh, good. Okay. Good, good. Yay. Okay. Oh, he got staggered, but he didn't get staggered for very long. But at least these uh, bullcrap Rancor things are hitting at me and not Mimic Tear. And the reason that's important is because as long as Mimic Tear kills him, just like he did, as I literally hit the button to do the thing I wanted to do. Since we only have two more shard bearers, I thought let's I just figure why not go take on one of them. Um, I don't know Moog's Holy Resistance. I'm just going to tell you that now. I do not know Moog's Holy Resistance. I do know he was out of range for that. Eesh. Uh. Oh, of course he would decide when I wasn't looking. Thrice. Ow. What the heck was that game? I pressed the attack button too soon? This is why I hate this boss fight. There's so much crap going on on the screen. That I genuinely can't follow it all the time. Well, okay. Okay, well now it's just me. Here, we're going to try something. I'm going to summon Black Knife. And then I'm going to Golden Vow that didn't hit Black Knife because she moved away too quickly. Thrice. I shouldn't have tried to do that, and I knew I shouldn't have tried to do that. I was like, already? Yeah, already. Okay, well, he has less health than he's had the last couple of times I've done this. Black Knife has way more health this time, so that's good news. For now. Because I don't. Okay, hang on. What? Oh, come on. Of course it would wear off.
Get distract him. Distract him. I can see it as clear as day. Okay. No, you can't because you're dead. Your dynasty is not coming. And also that outer god tricked you into doing all of this. Just to be clear. Um, also, yes, that is 1.3 million runes. That's actually partially why I did this. He's not particularly more difficult in New Game Plus than he is in New Game. I mean, look at that. That's 10 levels. I just got 10 levels by beating him. 10 levels. Well... I mean, Fire Giant went exceptionally well. Godskin Duo seems like it's going to cause me a lot of pain, so I'm going to do some thinking about that before next time. Other than Godskin Duo, however, this episode did go reasonably well. The Serpent went down fairly quickly. Moog, okay, Moog was really frustrating, but the only reason we did it was for the 1.3 million runes. Next time, Godskin Duo, because we're running out of things to do other than that. This has been the Sacred Relic Sword Run in Elden Ring. Thank you for watching, and come back soon for more Elden Ring.